So this is what we are eating. Let me show you guys. Wow, this is Yaman Plantain. Hmm, guys, you can't afford to miss this delicious food. Hello, beautiful people. You're welcome back to our channel. <laughs> My channel. Welcome, guys. Bye. Welcome back, guys. How are you all doing? On today's video, we are going to be eating mukbang another banga another mukbang uh, on this channel guys we're going to be doing a lot of eating this time around so we have yam and plantain and egg sauce you know in this egg sauce we have a lot of we have carrots here we have green beans we have tomatoes we have onions we have everything here so guys come and join us to eat so if this is your first time of seeing our face my name is precious and this is my lovely son emmanuel mm -hmm. check out his channel emmanuel the king Thanks. space so so go and subscribe to her to his channel guys so if you're just seeing our face i am a mommy blogger based in germany lifestyle blogger also cook on my channel so guys i'm going to we are going to be eating this delicious food and sorry guys i did not come with cup but we are going to be using one cup because he's taking juice you know we ladies the days you don't take juice what happened if you know what happened on the days you don't take juice just tell me on the comment section below <laughs> so i'm not taking juice today he's going to be taking juice his his juice is here with him but mommy is not drinking juice today so that's the reason why I, I think I forgot my cup. So guys, join us while at the same time will I will be talking about I will be talking about Nigeria something something that I come across on Facebook that is really really bad. So before then, let us pray and let me not bore you with my stories. Too much talk. So let's pray. God bless. Unsatisfy this food in Jesus' name and provide for those that don't have to eat in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, guys, join us while we discuss, and I will also be discussing about, yeah, the things I see these days that happened, especially in Nigeria. I'm talking about Nigerian home because, hmm, this food is delicious. Hmm. I'm talking about Nigerian home because it happens virtually every time, every day. It's so sad that young people will make money, struggle all their life in Europe just to survive. And make their family live better and because of envy some family member or some friends from nowhere we cut their life short yes it happens all the time when a young man travel back home from Europe or from wherever country from America back down to Africa and especially young men that are just starting maybe uplifting their family gradually and the next thing he comes back and the next thing if they don't kill him down there they will monitor him and kill him whenever you get they will make sure that that young woman or that young man never comes back home again why is this wickedness why is this wickedness all over the world what is really going on you know i find it difficult i actually lost a friend recently a family friend it's so painful i actually find it difficult to believe that this young man is gone it has been said here 
The doctors, they have confirmed that he died of heart attack. On the train station, he collapsed and died. Just one year after he traveled, some months, not even up to one year, after he traveled to Nigeria to bury his family member. And this young man was actually putting up a building of his own trying to make do something in his father's land and the enemy says why why will you do such a thing act of wickedness is what we go through by the day in this world out of out of wickedness is too much I cannot sometimes I think that those people that kills people that they don't that they won't actually die or they will not die one day why are we maintaining wickedness upon our fellow human beings it's not that you kill this young man or you kill this young lady that you are going to possess her property his properties or you're going to i mean let me kill him and take his cars from him let me kill him and take his land and take his houses from him no you're just killing him because you just don't want him to shine you just feel so jealous and envy about him envious about him why are we so why is wickedness just too much in africa especially in africa it's i don't see where this happens in europe anyway but even if it happens in Europe, I don't think it's that much the way it happens in Africa. We Africans, we are so, I'm sorry to say, we are so mean to each other. We are full of, we are full, full of wickedness and envy. Our heart is full of so many evil. Why are, are we killing one another? why do we have to take someone's life just because you're envious about this person why do you have to end him or end her i was actually watching a video on facebook and i think somebody was making the video and the guy was dancing they were dancing they were enjoying a party they were praising him hey hey blood this that he doesn't even know what was going on he was with his cup of drink. He was dancing. I don't know. Maybe many of you have seen this video on Facebook. The video really trended on Facebook. The boy was just, you know, innocently jumping up, happy. And then one was making the video and the other one jumped on him. He was dancing like this. He, the next thing, they put something in his drink. Wickedness. The young people young man young people like you a young man like you we're not even talking about the old people now after they will say the government is bad the government is wicked the government did this to us whereas you people are just the kind of wickedness you people are meddling to yourselves is too much african you people have to change my brothers and sisters wickedness will never take you to anywhere wickedness will never uplift you did you take that person's life? Did you poison that person because you wanted to be greater than the person? You are still where you are. You can never be greater than that person. And the same thing goes to what we see today. Your brother, your sister will know something. Will know something that will benefit you. Your, your brother will know that this thing will benefit my brother. But he will not tell the brother because he doesn't want his brother to be richer than him or he doesn't want his brother to be greater than him the same thing goes to sisters so my advice to we this generation because i always say it i always say it god have mercy god forgive us i always say that our generation has failed our generation is a failed generation 
our generation hates humanity. I always pray every day to God Almighty that the generation of my children, that God, let it be better than this generation. Let it be a generation that will know you. That is always my prayer point. Anytime I pray, I always pray like that. That God should make the generation of our children to be better than our own generation. A generation that has human sympathy. A generation that will not take a fellow life because of wickedness and riches of the world. My advice to you all today as you are watching this video. Especially to my brothers and sisters. Hmm, let me take some more. Mine is finished. Especially to my brothers and sisters in, in the Aspera. You have been in Africa before you travel. Even if you are born in, the, in Europe or in America. You know what is going on in Africa. Your parents might have told you what is going on. Please, please, please and please for God's sake. Do not go home and start shaking people. The way you do it here. You know. There are things going on. I have seen a lot of life lost. A lot of posted on sometimes I hate going to Facebook because I only what I only see is young people dying. I don't see old people, I don't see it is something people I only see young people dying, posting, rest in peace. I don't see people, I don't see it is something on the list. Like when I go to Facebook, I don't see somebody like say, Oh, my my uncle just died, is 85. My my no, only young people because of wickedness of the heart. So, if you're in Europe, you're going back home to see your family, to visit your family, please, if you cannot keep your hand well, look for police escort. Tell them to handcuff you. Put your back, your hand on your back if you can control it. It's really very important. If you know you can't control your hand by shaking, shaking, shaking. Shaking all your umuna. If you know you can't, all the elders in your village, shaking them hands. If you know you can't control it, tell your, tell your security man. To handcuff you in the back. You know, you can just be doing like this. Greeting them. For your life, oh. Makandogi. Mm-hmm. Makandogo. Because what is happening these days? Sometimes I weep. I cry. I say, what is going on? Young people. Killing young people. If you know that you cannot control your hand for shaking, Makandogi, because of your life, handcuff your hand at the back so that when they see that there is handcuff in your hand, they will not look, they will not see your hand to hold. And if you know you must club, you must party, you are traveling home, you want to go and have fun. Yeah, everybody wants to get, you know, have fun. You leave your drink. This is not Europe, oh, because Europe, nobody is going to poison you. Even if you go to party, leave your drink in a club, you come back, you drink it again. Nobody's going, nobody has your time, you know, because there's camera everywhere. If you try, they, they get you. So, even if you're going to leave your drink, when you come back, please do not take that drink again. When I saw that video that I saw, I was like, someone was, someone was actually videoing what the action. How the guy just put the drink, the, the, this thing in the drink, pam. And he's dancing, he's shouting, blood, blood, blood. Be wise, my people. The world is wicked. Wickedness will not take you anywhere. Wickedness will only keep stagnant, keep you stagnant in life. Wickedness will only make you not to go forward. Wickedness will only bring bad luck and how do I say it? Wickedness will only bring bad luck to your children and your unborn children and your generation. And you find out many of us suffering today, a lot of people that are suffering today is because of the sins of their fathers, the sins of their forefathers. You know, let us stop wickedness so that our children our children children will not suffer our sin that is my advice to you all if you have not subscribed to this channel try and subscribe for many more is coming god bless you all stay safe and stay away from wickedness god bless you say bye bye, bye. love you guys Mwah. 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 <laughs> ciao ciao this food i'm done with this food i'm tired like it's too much are you?
Hmm. Like I've not cut it too. Bye. <laughs> bye bye everybody. Huh? Cut it now. Hmm. Bye. Yeah, not cut. <laughs> <laughs>